What's up everybody, Joshua Trades here for the third day making these bolt jaw tongs. And this is where I got so far. This is my first blank that I've worked on and um, pretty much got the rough shape right. The only thing I haven't done yet is I marked this at three quarters of an inch. I'm supposed to hammer it down to about an inch long. Um, I'm going to put the link, this, uh, the dimensions and stuff like that for this bolt jaw tong is on blacksmith.com. I'll put the link in the description below so that if you guys want to, uh, make this with good instruction, you can actually go there and, um, do that. Again, that one was for three quarter inch stock and this is one inch. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit different but um, essentially the same thing. Um, other than that, I did not lay out the other tongs last night, so I'm going to do that real quick, and we'll go from there. So essentially, the blank itself, um, goal is 11 inches long prior to forging. So I'm going to mark at 11 inches. And again, I'm going to do this kind of backwards. Um, instead of marking out the... Instead of marking out the bit first, I'm going to... Um, uh, essentially what I did last time is I marked the bit on the end and then the reins this way I'm going to have the reins on the end and the bit this way so I've got it marked at 11 inches from there uh, the bit is 3 quarter inches prior to forging so I'm going to mark it quarter and then the um, the jaw or the shank of the tongs is one and a half prior to forging so let's mark that and then the boss where the rivet goes um, seven eighths or one inch let's see I'll mark it at seven eighths no we'll mark it at an inch that's what I did last time I believe if not it'll be wrong and I'll have the third tongue to do it with. So, alright. I'm gonna make the same marks on the other side so I can draw straight lines ish. because we're going to take a punch and fold down the edge. That way we can find it on the anvil. And for this, I need to reference how my other tongs are laid out. So, tapering that way. So, right here, we're going to... So I'm taking just a See, I don't know if that'll work or not, but I'm taking a just regular hardware store punch, and I'm going to mark right on the very edge, and that should fold the edge down and give me something to stop on. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going that 
play with it. So then I'll mark there and there. <clears throat> so I marked on this side, so my thong should taper that way, the ring, and then to do the jaw or the shank, I'm going to mark here and hammer in this way. So right there and right there, and then I'm going to put marks on each end just so I know where to cut later. If you look, um, you can see the bumps, and they actually like have raised edges. And so what that's going to do is when you set it down on the anvil, it'll actually stop on each one of those little bumps. So when this is hot, you'll be able to find your marks. So go ahead and fire up the forge and start making the second tong blank. Alright, so I'm going to try different camera strategy today. I'm going to focus more on the anvil instead of the overall picture. That way you can kind of see a little better what I'm trying to do. We're about ready for my first heat. Uh, I've got the whole piece to hold on to, so hopefully that'll give me a little bit more control than I had with the palms yesterday. So let's see how it goes.
Let's just do a kind of cleanup kind of pass and we'll move on to forging out the boss and the shape or the jaw of the top. that's tricky is that the, the, with no shade um, you don't see the colors of the steel very well so uh, it looks colder than it is and it's really hard to tell if it's at a good temperature or not. Okay well the GoPro actually got too hot and it shut down so I went inside and put it in the refrigerator to cool it off and it is now cool. Um, while I was waiting for that, I finished up this area. I wound up, <clears throat> whenever I did the set down on both ends, it was too narrow so I couldn't get the width that I needed. And since I made this end too long anyway, I went ahead and took more material off from the boss area. And it's still a little big, but for the most part, it's pretty close. Um, definitely can see some on each side, but I mean, these are pretty much good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and that'll be the end of Tong Blank number two. And then I might go get something to eat. And then I'll be back once, uh, I don't know, it's not too bad outside. Um, Maybe back after I eat, or maybe back a little bit later tonight, whenever the sun's not as extreme. But right now, it's really not, it's really not too bad, and I'm sitting in front of a, uh, a forge. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the forge down, and we'll cut this off and um, mark up our um, third tongue blank, and we'll kind of hopefully meet somewhere in the middle. I got this tapered out. I'm not super happy with it. I'm kind of more happy actually with this one um, so I'm going to mark up the third tongue like I did this one and uh, hopefully get a usable set out of the three so whichever ones are closest are the ones that I'm going to go with and uh, yeah well, we're, we're getting there so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off.
this one's not quite as straight but that's okay we can we're gonna bend it all anyway so also another thing too is because I tried to draw it out so far the um, shank of uh, this one is thinner than the shank on that one so again I'm, I'm probably going to use this one as my blank but it all depends on whether or not the third one I make matches either one of these um, and we'll go from there there'll be a little bit of cleanup to do like rounding off all of the reins and breaking the edges and uh, cleaning up the boss area um, that's no big deal. I'll be able to do that once I have the two that match. And once I have that, we'll be able to go ahead and forge out the bits and split them and start bending the jaw into that bolt jaw shape. So pretty good. I think that went a lot quicker than the other one. Don't necessarily think better. There are less cold shuts on this one, so that's an improvement. Um, but yeah, I think I'll go ahead and mark this up and get it ready to start. Um, get it ready to start forging for the third tom blank. And hopefully we get a usable one. So again, same process as before, although this one's quite warm. on this guy after I take a little break. Got the mark for the boss, that'll taper for the reins, got the marks for the shank, and then the end marks for the bit. That'll give me something to cut to. <laughs> so yeah, I'll catch you after a break.